Little baby doll whistle. Little baby doll whistle. types of practices. They've been around the block. They've seen it all, possibly. The con to that is they can't stick on a roster anywhere. So that makes Pizzo a little nervous, but I like that the Giants are trying to mix and match and piece some stuff together to see if it works. Because after all, sometimes you get lucky. Ain't that right, little baby doll? Whistle! We just need a little bit of luck right now. Come on in, Ricky Seals Jones. We already had a geek in the first place playing tight end. See ya. Go make some plays, Ricky. Whistle. But you want to know the free agent that the Giants have signed that is most excited, Pizzle Baby Dog, mm -hmm. is Tyrod Taylor. Mm -hmm. And I know what some geeks out there are thinking. What are you saying, Pizzle? What are you saying? My brain don't work sometimes. What are you saying? See, there's some goofy, booger-eating content creators out there that have tried to tell you that this quarterback is going to be good. Let's draft this quarterback. The Giants should draft this quarterback. Little baby doll whistle. These guys give Pizzle, they give Daddy a mind break. Because all they're doing is they're out here touting a guy who that if he ends up being good, they can say, oh, look, I told you. Look, I put out content saying it's going to be great. But then when he absolutely is a failure, they can just say, well, the team he was on wasn't that good. It's a win-win for these stupid geeks on this stupid platform that we call YouTube 2022 now. Nobody has any integrity. Nobody has any credibility. Nobody's out here eating crow like Daddy Pizzle. Can I get a whistle? I'm losing my voice. Screw my voice. It's clearly not a 60-minute man. What a geek. The reason why I like Tyrod Taylor is because it tells me that the New York Giants are believing in Daniel Jones right now. They clearly understand the same thing that Pierce will understand. He was the best player on the field wearing blue a year ago. When he went out, see ya. See ya. No chance. We ain't winning. But when he was in, things were happening. Is he a perfect quarterback? No, he needs to stay healthy. Learn how to stay healthy. He needs to prove that to me and the rest of the Giants fan base, including the organization. But Tyrod Taylor's not good enough to beat him out in camp. But he's good enough to be a backup, and he's dead, he's dead gone much better than Colt McCoy and Mike Glennon. He's been a starter in this league, and then if Daniel somehow bruises his pinky finger, 
then Tyrod Taylor can come in and be a serviceable quarterback for the Giants, and we can move on the following year. This is smart by the Giants, and I love this. This makes absolute common sense. It's common sense, and I love it. These geeks out here talking about mentor Trubisky. Shut up! Can I get a whistle? Ah! And, you know, speaking of these geeks, they're still talking about Dave Gellman. They won't let Dave Gettleman go. It's like Dave Gettleman is Donald Trump. They just won't let it go. And I find it funny because nobody says anything about Joe Judge. Nobody ever buries Joe Judge on YouTube, Twitter, or their mama's butt. Nobody, nobody does it. And the reason why is because every content creator, including Bizzle, we bought into Joe Judge and we got on the mountaintops and screamed about how he was the next Parcells. He's going to do this little baby doll whistle. He's going to do that little baby dog whistle. And the reality is, it, it's a big fat L for all of us. Content. It's a big fat. But nobody likes to admit the fat L's. But they can say that Dave Gettleman sees because most of them didn't buy into Dave Gettleman. And that's one of the many faults that Dave Gettleman had was that he brought Joe Judge in to be his head coach. But nobody wants to talk about how bad Joe Judge was. Baby doll, if I go out and get a basket and I fill it up with eggs and I hand it to you and I ask you to carry that basket and you drop that basket, is it my fault? I don't know. Maybe if, because I gave you the basket. But the reality is, is you still drop the daggum basket. Little baby doll whistle. <laughs> and that's what Joe Judge did. He dropped the basket. <laughs> And you've got a new head coach for the Giants and a new general manager, and we're trying to piece this stuff together. Now, look, Pizzle's not ready to go around picking his nostrils like all these other geeks, making 15,000 mock drafts and telling you who, who, who we're going to like. The night that the draft happened a year ago, Pizzle went viral. We went viral. Over a million clicks, Barstool Sports. The bottom line is, is when Pizzle gives you a pick, when Pizzle shows up on draft night, it's steak and it's freaking potatoes. Little baby dog whistle. <whistles> it ain't this microwave content crap. You know what I'm saying, little baby dog? Whistle. <whistles> That's right. <sighs> so the bottom line is, Pizzle's evaluating, okay? I'm not going to sit here and be like these geeks out here talking about how, oh, I got to watch tape on somebody. I got to watch tape. I got to watch them. Shut up. I watched them play in college. I wasn't watching cartoons, picking my nostrils, acting like I was somebody. I watched the freaking games. You should be thankful, baby doll. You should be thankful because I heard 25 women in a limo driving outside of her house and every one of them were dying just to hear Pizzle Woo because they saw the strap through the window. That's reality. That's facts. Ain't that right, little baby doll? Can I get a whistle? Everybody wants a piece of a 60-minute man. That's just facts. That's just That's just facts. So, with that being said, by the way, Logan Ryan, time for you to go. <laughs> you wasn't holding off a guy like Stud, like Xavier McKinney, anyways, and you wasn't fitting in the Martindale system. Wasn't happening. Which, by the way, baby doll, that's my squad, the defensive side of the squad. Mm -hmm. I may not make, when, I, when the season starts, I may make videos. With no sleeves in my shirt. Supporting Coach Wink. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay? Guns. Okay? Freaking guns! Lorenzo Carter loved you. Really thought you were going to be something. And listen, your Instagram post, heartfelt, love all that, go big blue, this and that. You couldn't stay healthy, baby doll. 
you just get, you couldn't stay healthy, right? Pizzle was ready to buy into you. Choo, choo, all aboard the Carter truck. It didn't work. It got derailed. I wish you, Logan, and that geek pro bowler, which, by the way, we had a blast. Who, who, who has made, who has made better Evan Ingram content than Pizzle? Nobody. So I wish him, the pro bowler, all the best of luck in the world. Can't wait till the Giants play you so you can drop every pass that the, 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 that the Jags throw you away. Can't wait. Dream come true. Little baby doll, have you been okay lately? Has everything been going good? Are you happy? Do you love daddy? Do you love baby doll, baby doll mama? You love everything? How about big boy? You love the Giants? Are you ready for Giants football? Are you ready for Giants football? Is Mark Holmes a geek? Yeah, absolutely. Is Philly 500 a geek? Yeah. Do we like these guys?